hope you're doing well. Um, from the last video, you guys all said you wanted to see the cookie dough recipe. So, that's what we're gonna make today. We're gonna make the cookie dough recipe from my ebook, which is coming out on Sunday the 19th. So, literally this Sunday coming. It will be on my website, which is natashaorsian.com. And I'm really excited about it because this is like the first thing I've ever done that I'm selling. It's really weird. I, I can't get my head around it. I've worked so hard on it. I've taken all the photos. I've made it all of the recipes from scratch. So yeah, it's been a long time coming and I'm excited. And there'll also be the lunch and dinner recipe ones to come in the future weeks as well. So I'm gonna make two different types of cookie dough today. Um, one of them is one that I have because I prefer having lower fat, higher carb, um, meals or just that's how I break down my macros but I'm also going to do a higher fat one um, if you don't want to have so many carbs which is fine as well it's just that I prefer eating more carbs so I'm going to show you the two variations I'm going to show you how simple it is really the texture is pretty much the same and um, so is the flavor it's just that you can really change up your macros just by making small tweaks. So that's kind of what I want to show you guys today. And throughout the ebook, I also give options for that as well. So if you don't have something, you can swap something in, or if you want to have it higher fat, I give you like a list of different ingredients. So I really want you guys to explore how different macros work for you because everyone is so different. And I don't want it to just be like a strict, this is what you have to do, this is what you have to do. I want you guys to go out, explore, see what works for you, see what you prefer, see what helps you train better, and yeah, it's like, a, it's like a guide, a guide that just kind of guides you. That's so badly worded. But anyway, I'm trying to remember the two, and I'm really struggling to just remember six numbers. So, I'm gonna read it out. I'm gonna read it out, because I calculated it. So, the lower fat version has 575 calories, 74 carbs, 11 fat, and 40 protein. So that's the one I usually eat. And then the higher fat um, is 575 calories. So the same number of calories, but it's got 48 carbs, 19 fat, and 47 protein. Yeah, there's no chance in hell I'd have remembered that off the top of my head. Um, so I'm gonna show you now how you can just tweak really easily the different recipes. So the first one, which is the lower fat one, I literally know this recipe off the back of my head, um, is 100 grams of oats, which is also equivalent to a cup, which is really handy for you Americans. Um, and I'm gonna blend it up. Uh, what am I doing? Ah, oh, okay. So I'm just gonna blend it. And if you are using dates instead of sucrine, then put the dates in at this stage as well. So you're going to be using about 30 grams of dates. And is this on? Hi. So you basically want to make it look like a flower. And um, if you buy instant oats, that's it pretty much does the job for you. Um, but yeah. I don't always buy instant oats because you never know. Sometimes I want the full oat. Okay. And then I'm going to put 30 grams of soup cream. Now, I'm just going to eyeball it. But if you want to do it proper, it's 30 grams of soup cream. And then we're going to put three tablespoons of powdered peanut butter. Um, I use the PB2 brand and they sell them on Amazon so I'll link the link in the description box but also nuts and more is really good. Um, nuts and more and yeah that's pretty much it. This one and nuts and more. But then nuts and more is really hard to get on Amazon so I ended up getting this one. It's quite good though. So you've got that in there and then I'm going to add 100 grams of egg whites. And if 
you are vegan, then by all means, at this point, add the almond milk. But because it's more liquid than egg whites, add a little bit less. So just kind of add it and mix and see how you go. Because you don't want to, the worst thing you can, it's not that bad, but the worst thing you can do is over add. And then you've got like a really runny um, cookie dough. So it's not really like cookie dough, it's more just like wet dough. It's really hot today, so I feel like I'm sweating every time I do the slightest bit of exercise. Woo! Okay. Nearly there. There you go. And at this stage, at this stage, you can either choose to make it into little balls or you can add some like cacao nibs or you can add some raisins um, you can do whatever you want obviously the more toppings you add the more you're going to like change the macros which is fine um, it's just something to to be aware of but that's the basic recipe um, and yeah usually I'll have this and I'll top it with some berries or sometimes I'll, I'll Ooh, or sometimes I'll put some raisins in it if it's like a pre-workout and I need some extra carbs um, and yeah or if I'm low on fat I'll add like I'll add some more cacao nibs if you don't have cacao nibs by the way like chunks of chocolate or chocolate chips are just as good like don't worry about getting these if you don't want to you can do it perfectly well with like normal chocolate um, I just went fancy now I'm going to make the higher fat version so I'm using a little bit less egg, uh, less eggs, oats. So I'm using like three quarters, so 75 grams of oats. And again, I'm just gonna put it in the blender. Literally, I love my blender. It's my favorite thing in the world. So again, just putting, making it into a flour. But like I said, like any any sweetener is fine. Um, any even if you wanted to use something that wasn't a sweetener, by all means go for it. And I definitely add maple syrup or honey sometimes if it's like a pre-workout and I just want some extra energy. Um, so then we're gonna add half a scoop of protein powder. To make it high fat, I'm going to add a little bit of peanut butter. Um, sorry, a little bit by, and that by that I mean 25 grams. Um, so I realised how. Um, oh, what's his name? Jamie. Jamie Oliver. I'm being. He's like, I splash of this, splash of that, and in the end, you're like, how much did you actually add? And then again, you're going to add about 80 grams of egg whites. Now that's the basis of that of the high fat recipe. I'm now going to add some raisins because I feel like the change in texture is always a really nice add, like addition. Or you can just add some more oats that aren't blended just to give like a little bit more texture. But yeah, that's what that's like the base of that recipe. And of course, if you want to make it vegan, by all means, add some more um, some almond milk. Or you can add more peanut butter if you want it higher fat. Or you can add um, some more. Uh, yeah, no, that's the only two things. I thought I thought something else, but that's not it. <laughs> what was I thinking? I can't remember. Anyway. <laughs> Has loads and loads of different swaps just like this 
Um, and obviously like this is just one example, but I could have added lots more stuff in it or made it different flavors and stuff like that. So the ebook is designed to have lots of things that are interchangeable. So I do hope you like it and that you end up buying it if you want to. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, I can't show any of my thumbs, but please give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!